Hello YouTube, it's Mark from Spending Wages here and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your desktop. Not any desktop, but that of a Mac. So this could be an iMac, a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, etc. So let's get on with it. Here is my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and load up Firefox. I don't know about you, but I find Firefox to be so much better than Safari. It really is I don't know why but it just it just operates a lot better anyway I'm gonna go to the Google search engine which is my home page and type in desktop recorder Mac like so and the first hit that you should see is 10 clever screen recording tools for Mac go ahead and click on that and this will take you through to a blog and on this blog there will be 10 different tools like it says and I'm just scrolling down a few now until I get to this one it is called I show you and this is what I'm going to be using today it is really good it is my favorite I have had a couple of these desktop recorders in the past but this is by far the easiest to use I'll just scroll down and show you the rest of them screen flick screenium screen mimic snaps pro x screen flow so there is a lot on the market don't be fooled by the first one you come to uh, and have a look around shop around but i'm going to be using i show you like i said so go ahead and click on the link i show you and this will take you through to their website it is called shiny white box and they do software as it says great software for mac i've got a couple of products i show you hd and i show you version one I show you HD Pro, this is what we want, and this is what I'm going to recommend to you guys. Um, download the demo, so you can try it out for yourselves, or you can add to your basket. So it is up to you which one you go for. I show you HD or I show you HD Pro. Two different prices, one is slightly more than the other. But hey, it's up to you which one you go for. Both are going to do the, do the business. I went for the Pro. But I'll leave that up to you. So let's say that you have gone with the Pro as well. Added it to your basket, paid for it, and then downloaded it. You will then be required to install the software as you do on any Mac as normal. There's nothing new about the installation process. And when you have, you will come to this screen. This is the application. It is really easy to use, really clear. And I'm just going to talk you through some of the features. First of all, we're going to go up and go through some of the preferences. As you can see on the general tab, there's an awful lot on here that you can have a play about with. But much of this is going to be untouched. I'll show you what the storage tab looks like. Again, much of this is going to be left untouched. You've got the shortcuts. Here you can create your own. You've got the display tab. You've got the update tab. You can check for updates. In fact, let's do that now. Check in for updates. You are up to date. That's good. And then you've got a support tab. And that's it for the preferences. So let's now move on to some of the options. Here you can choose your capture area, either automatically or manually. You then can choose your output video, such as formats and frame rates, etc. And you can also choose how you want the mouse to behave. I have got it on follow, so wherever the mouse goes, the screen will follow. Now, I would like to show you these options in more detail, but I can't. And the reason for that is when a recording is in progress, the options become locked. Now, you can use a microphone. You can use the sound from other applications. Again, with the keys. And you can also use a camera, the front-facing camera on the Max. Let's go on to capture options. Again, there are a number of things that you can change here. And my advice to you would be to have a play about and see what you like and see what you don't like we've now got the audio from applications 
or the microphone slash external input here you would pick a, a headset for example a turtle beach now you've got the video as you can see we are running this one at an mpeg4 at 30 frames per second and an audio is at aac when you actually start recording this box does not appear i have just got it up to show you and like i said you can create shortcuts so for example you could have the space bar to start and stop the recordings and when the recordings begin they will stack up in this area here each separate file each separate recording will build up so some of the other options purchase unlock upgrade services hide others you know the usual stuff you get with a mac um, about i show you hd let's have a look doesn't get really give us too much information there but you know i'm just i'm just showing you the options file open upload i mean a lot of this again is locked because a recording is in progress i'm actually recording now edit again just your normal mac layout view window and there is a help section and that's all there is to it this software like i said is really really easy to use i've just quickly taken you through some of the preferences some of the options and i'm not saying that you're going to be a master already but it won't take you long to pick up so what i can do now is i'm going to stop this recording start it up again and this will show you how the files stack up along the bottom there you go there is the first file from before i'm going to drag that out onto the desktop like so and i'm going to rename it i'm going to call it for the sake of this please subscribe to us there you go hide that double click on that and there you go it's like a dream within a dream for those of you that have seen the film inception that is the file if you remember from before that we recorded i'll just let that play out for a bit and as you can see the quality is pretty good it's hd and that's the most important thing when providing content for youtube you want it to be hd anyway close quick time now it is up to you what you do with that mov file i know we edit all of our movies or all of our films in iMovie but hey it's up to you and that's it so thanks for watching i hope you're happy i'm happy if you've got any questions or you're stuck or i don't know you want some advice about life send me a message comment on the video and i'll see what i can do and if i did help you out it would be great for you to do one of or a number of the things that you can see on the screen right now anyway whatever happens i'll see you next time take care